This is Mr. Woodward showing you in this video how to build a simple electric motor. So first I'm going to start off with uh, this setup. I've taken a D-cell battery and taped paper clips to both sides and then wrapped those paper clips into these loops. These loops are going to hold uh, a wire coil. So I'm in, in my motor design I'm going to make a coil of wire spin and um, it's eventually going to look like this. But how do I get this? I take some doorbell wire that I found at my local hardware store. It usually starts off as this um, braided white and red wire. And I'm just going to unbraid it and remove one of the wires. So just undo these. Remove one of the wires. You'll need about three feet. Um, here I just have a short little one and then you're gonna strip uh, both ends of your wire using some wire strippers. If you don't have wire strippers, you can use scissors. And as you strip it, it's gonna go from looking like this to looking like this after you strip one of those sides. So you'll see this nice shiny copper color underneath. After you've stripped your wire, you're gonna take your wire and you're going to wrap it around something like a battery or some, some other round object uh, several times and create and then create a coil pull it out and then you're going to loop those sides uh, together to create something that looks like this you're going to drop the coil into these loops that you've made in your paper clips and then um, at this point, you've sh you're short circuiting this wire coil. It's connected to these paper clips, which are connected to the two ends of the battery. So right now you have current flowing. And um, if you leave it in this orientation for a really long time, you'll heat up the battery and you'll heat up the coil. And so you don't wanna leave it like that for too long. I'm going to um, add something else that th that's gonna turn this from uh, basically just an electromagnet, which is like this, because every wire that has current running through it produces a magnetic field around it. And now uh, interacting with this coil's magnetic field is gonna be the magnetic field from a permanent magnet. So I'm gonna stick this down here. And at this point, now I've got two interacting magnetic fields, and my goal is to make them push against each other so that the coil rotates. So right now, Not a whole lot is happening, and it's because um, I need to shut off the current every half rotation on this coil, because uh, as the coil moves down in this orientation, current is perhaps uh, flowing this way on the bottom. Uh, but then as the coil flips over, now current on this bottom end is moving the other way. And so those alternating directions are producing magnetic fields in opposite directions, causing the the coil to want to go like this way and then wobble back this way and wobble back. So I need to shut off one of those directions. And the way that I'm going to do that is I'm going to use a marker and I'm going to blacken just the bottom of one side. This ink acts as insulation. Every time this ink now touches the paper clip, um, no current will flow through until the coil flips over the other way, and now the non-ink side is touching the paper clip, and so current will flow through. This will effectively shut off the current every half rotation. So now, as I put this in here, I'm gonna kind of play with this, with these paper clips, and see if I can get this thing to start spinning. And it does take a lot of moving around. That's a good spot right there. And there it goes.